Hi, I'm Adam Mock with Tech Times, and today I'm talking with the CEO of Legislate, Charles Breck. How are you today, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you, Adam, for having me. Um, we're here to talk about your company, Legislate. Uh, would you like to tell us a little bit, a little bit about your company? Yeah. So, Legislate is a easy way for non-lawyers to create contracts, but more importantly, to track the data in the contracts post signature. Um, we make it easy to um, help employers, you know, work out how many of their employees are on a 30-day notice period, how many might have probationary periods ending in the next couple of weeks. Um, and we can do that because we've made contracts machine readable, um, which effectively is allowing technology to, um, you know, read the data in the contracts without needing uh, lawyers to do that. Oh, it's, it's always good when you don't have to have lawyers. <laughs> um, what was your inspiration for starting the company? And with that, um, what's your background? Yeah, so I'm not a lawyer um, and I'm not trying to be a lawyer. Uh, but in my previous role, I was doing business development and I found that half my time was spent processing contracts, um, whether it was generating contracts from a template, whether it was, um, you know, communicating with the, the sharing the template with a client and waiting for their feedback. And a lot of that time was wasted on, you know, waiting, um, waiting for lawyers to provide input on an agreement. And um, lawyers are time poor. They're very busy. Um, and in you know in several occasions it meant that we were losing deals or losing opportunities um, because contracts weren't being processed fast enough or even if they were being processed um, you know they weren't the, the business priorities would would change during that that time and we'd lose the opportunity so I wanted to ultimately um, you know after it happened a couple of times to me I wanted to um, you know come up with a solution which would allow me the business user to create and process those contracts without getting the lawyers involved. Not that we don't want to get the lawyers involved, but you know, using technology, we can um, delegate some of that authority to the business user in a safe way. Um, and so that's really what we're you know, trying to do at Legislate is um, make it easy for non-lawyers to create contracts in a safe and robust way um, and provide the transparency both for them, but also to you know, maybe their legal team so that they can also see that, okay, these contracts are being created within boundaries that they're happy with um, and, you know, all digitally and, and all without their input. Sounds like you've really streamlined the process, which is really nice for small business owners and things. Um, in terms of ease of use, uh, you know, I'm a bit of a layman myself. Um, how easy it is to get started on Legislate? Yeah, so obviously it's, it's free to create an account and Legislate and you just need your email. Um, but in terms of creating contracts, you know, our, our, our target users are not lawyers. Um, they, you know, they, in an ideal scenario, they are used to creating contracts, but um, we've really had to simplify it for people who, and small businesses that, um, you know, maybe it's the first time they're hiring an employee. So it's the first time they're creating an employment contract. Um, so in terms of, a, from a user experience perspective, to create a contract, you just need to answer simple questions. Um, and questions come with exp exp explanatory notes, um, so that you understand, you know, what answer is most appropriate for your situation. But the key thing is that within those questions and answers, uh, we've embedded logic so that you can't make mistakes. So um, we're based in the UK and, and under English law, um, you have to give employees a certain notice period to terminate their employment, for example. Um, but post-employment, there are restrictions. And um, the amount that you can restrict an employee post-employment from, for example, working for a competitor or soliciting your clients is tied to the notice period. And what often happens if you're not experienced with contracts is you end up imposing or putting in a contract terms, you know, restriction periods, which are disproportionate to what you've actually, you know, to your notice. And that the consequence of doing that is you end up with contracts that are not enforceable. So, you know, we, we, we've made it simple with the questions and answers and, and behind the scenes we're controlling the, the quality of the input so that users don't make mistakes and they don't end up with contracts which are not enforceable. Um, but once they've set those answers to the questions, we generate the actual contract um, and we make it easy to uh, or sign it electronically or within Legislate so you don't actually need to then you know, download email, it all happens in one place. 
and then once um, you know the other side has signed, um, you then have access to that contract in your dashboard. And as you accumulate the contracts, you can then query your contracts, filter them, you know, in the same way that you know, on Booking or Airbnb, you might you know have the filters to identify where you want to stay. Um, you know, we do the same with the contracts, but with the terms of the contract, so that you can answer questions like. Um, you know, how many of my employees are based in a certain place or report to a certain person or earn more than X. Um, so we're really gi giving full control of, of the data in the contracts. Beautiful. Um, now, region to region, you said you're based in London, in England. Um, do you have, is it different when you're trying to come up with a contract, say in the States for something else, or is everything pretty much um, kind of cut and dry? Yeah, so, you know, we're, Unlike um, other template providers, uh, we're not we're trying to do things properly, in the sense that um, you know we we could put a bunch of templates on our platform in many jurisdictions, but uh, you know we 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 only put a template on our platform if we feel like um, we can provide a good quality of service to our customers. So right now um, we're we're mainly focused on England and Wales. So uh, in terms of jurisdictions. Um, but, you know, we will be expanding to other jurisdictions, including the US, um, over the next 12 months. And to do that, we will be um, expanding our legal team and legal expertise so that when we do add new contracts, um, we, un we truly understand um, the clauses and how they interconnect so that we can offer, um, you know, a, a high level of service, because especially in uh, our, our two main focus areas are property and employment. Um, and, you know, uh, property laws are very different in the US than in the UK um, and same for employment. So uh, we want to, we definitely want to expand to the US and we will, but um, we want to do things properly. And, um, and yeah, that, that's, that's the gist of it. Yeah. Um, what industries do you think would benefit most from legislation? Yeah, so I'd, I'd say, um, you know, Everyone can benefit from legislate. That's the, the short answer. Um, you know, even lawyers can benefit from legislate because at the end of the day, lawyers tend to not like reviewing, you know, templates or even tailoring a template, whether it's an NDA or employment, et cetera. Um, so, so really what we're doing is we are streamlining that process and offering a delightful experience. Um, but I'd say today, um, you know, our focus is startups, small businesses on the employment side. Um, I say the the challenge is is making them appreciate that it is important to invest in legal when you get started because otherwise you might pay the price later on. Um, and this is a legislate is a cost effective way of doing that. Um, but the other the other industry that where we've had quite a bit of traction is in property, um, and especially for things like uh, rental agreements. Um, because both rental and, and property agreements uh, and employment, sorry, agreements tend to be uh, agreements where you wouldn't involve a lawyer in the first place, or you might maybe initially when you get that template, um, but you might, you know, inherit a template or use that template over the years. So, so I'd say any, those are our two focus groups right now, but any industry where there's a relatively standard template where you would only really involve a lawyer at the start, are kind of the sweet spot for us because we then, you know, offer a, a, a great experience and, and a much safer experience for dealing with those templates, you know, once the lawyer has signed off the template, you know, and, you know, as, as you progress and do transactions. Say so, as someone who has rented property, this sounds like a dream come true. <laughs> yeah. um, do you have any plans to expand the company in the future? And do you have any other um, products that you may have coming out yeah so i think you know what we've done today is we've made um contracts usable um to our customers and the data in those in those contracts usable as i mentioned you know they can query their contracts they can create contracts very easily query their contracts understand you know get insights from their contracts which would otherwise be trapped in pdfs or um you know if they had taken the time to extract that data put it in a spreadsheet you know they, they'd have that insight but you know, no one really does that. Um, you know, what we're planning to do next is make that data usable and make contracts usable within workflows. Because when you hire an employee, 
it doesn't end once you sign the employment contracts. Often you need to generate policies. You maybe need to you know, add them to payroll. Um, maybe you need to set up a pension scheme or provide various employee benefits. Same when in, with rentals, you know, you need to start collecting payments. You need to maybe do some, some credit checks, et cetera. These are all services which are, you know, d d connected to the contract, but right now, um, you know, require a human in the loop to do that manual processing. So what we're planning to do, you know, as we've made contracts machine readable is turn contracts into APIs so that we can start to integrate with all these services, start to offer these services so that, you know, hiring and onboarding a new employee can be done directly from Legislate. Um, and as opposed to requiring, you know, two free separate systems um, and having to transfer that data over manually. Um, so yeah, a APIs is, is the future of Legislate, both for offering services, um, but also making it easy to access and share data because you might have a CRM um, and when you populate with information used to populate the contract, and again, you wouldn't need to do that manually. You can just do that via integrations. Um, I just have one more question. Um, do you have any advice for someone who's trying to start their own company, uh, such as Legislate, or anything that maybe you wouldn't advise them to do <laughs> during the process? Sure. Um, I mean, I think the first piece of advice is to use Legislate. Um, because, you know, I, I think it's a very, I mean, uh, cost effective way to ensure that your legals uh, are in order from day one. Um, it also helps you save time. Um, and, but, but I think aside from, you know, using Legislate, um, it, it's, it's really important to, especially as a founder, to, we, we, there's, there's a lot of topics around um, delegating um and you know how a ceo needs to delegate because they need to focus on the high value tasks but i feel like when you are starting the business um you know you need to tr do everything at least once because if you don't do it then you don't really know what you're delegating or how to delegate um so i, I think that's um you know a, a key piece of advice great well thank you so much for your time you've been very informative and I actually look forward to checking out your your, uh, your site. I may be using it in the future myself. <laughs> oh, uh, um, thank you so much and have a great day. And if you enjoyed this video you just watched, please hit like and subscribe. And be sure to stop by techtime.com for the latest in news about tech, science, business, and so much more.